And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. So today started off cloudy, but then as we went into the afternoon, the sun started to peek through the clouds and later in the afternoon it turned absolutely fantastic. How about this? Not a single cloud in the sky. We do have very quiet weather across the entire viewing area. As you can see, the storm shield radar not showing anything. All the clouds moving down to the south. The entire Badger State under an abundance of sunshine. So perhaps you're listening to us right now. You still got another couple of hours before the sun sets this evening. Now a secondary cold front will be making its way into the area later this evening into the overnight. And there will be some clouds that sweep through with that, but it shouldn't really associate any precipitation with it. Skycast is showing the increase in cloud cover by about 10 30, 11 o'clock or so. Now, up to the north, towards the UP of Michigan, there will be some light lake effect snow showers and just plain old flurries. Now, it's suggesting that maybe some of this might move down towards the north woods. If it does, not anticipating any accumulation by any means, but then by tomorrow, another sunny day. The only thing tomorrow is that after that cold front moves through, it will be a little bit cooler. High temperatures will be probably right around the lower 40s. Now, a little heads up, kind of going back to the ongoing flooding risks. So, I mean, we've been seeing the temperatures above freezing the last several days. That snow's continuing to melt. So, an update on some of the river flood warnings. The Oconto River, minor flooding begins at 9 feet. We're seeing 9.2 two feet right now and that's its forecast. It's supposed to be hovering right along that margin of minor flooding. The Wolf River right now at 13.4 feet. It is going to be slowly dropping down just a little bit, but not by much. And as that water continues to melt in the north woods, it's going to be flowing into the Wolf River down towards the Fox River in Green Lake County. Still seeing some moderate flooding and is anticipated to continue to slightly rise to about 15.3 feet. 49 degrees right now. Our average high is in the lower 40, so we are above average, but it feels like 42 with light winds coming in out of the northwest. 50 in Shano, 48 in Mountain, 46 in Manitowoc, Kiwani, 43 in Sister Bay, and 48 in Appleton. The winds are coming in mostly out of the west at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, so it is a little bit of a breezy day out there, but at least that sunshine does kind of help dampen it a little bit. 29 for an overnight low temperature with a mix of some clouds, winds out of the west and northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, a little bit cooler, but still not too bad to kick off the weekend. 40 degrees with winds out of the north at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Gusts could get up to about 25 miles per hour. 49 on Saturday, a chance of a few light rain showers on Sunday. And then Monday, a little bit cooler, 36 degrees. And then back into the 40s. And perhaps depending exactly where the storm tracks on Thursday, we could get up to near 60 if it all pans out with the chance of a few showers. But today is the first meteorological spring astronomical. day. Astronomical yeah. spring day. Yes. So bring the flower dresses out and flower ties. Oh, and I better go shopping. <laughs> all right, Gina, thanks for that.